Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clayton. In today's video, we're going to be checking out my no recoil cast off 545 and Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Today's like goal is going to be 40 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Jumping straight into the attachments over on the stock. I am using the KSTV RPK factory stock. It adds aiming stability and recoil control, which is the main thing that we are going to be going for is the recoil control. The cons are aim walking speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed with crouch movement speed. Over on the tuning, I'm going with negative 2.54 ounces for aim down sight speed and negative 1.47 inches for aim walking speed. Over on the rear grip, I'm going to be using the demo XT grip or X2 grip, my bad, for the recoil control. The cons are aiming stability. Over on the tuning, I went with 0.71 ounces for recoil steadiness and negative 0.32 inches for sprint to fire speed. Over on the underbarrel, I'm using the Edge 47 grip for aiming auto stability and recoil stabilization. The cons are aim down sight speed. The tuning I'm going with is negative 0.49 ounces for aim down sight speed so I can get back what I lost. I really don't care too much about the recoil tuning for the underbarrels. And with that being said, I'm also going with negative 0.25 inches for aim walking speed. Over on the muzzle, I'm using the X10 ported 290 muzzle. It adds vertical recoil control. The cons are aimed on side speed and aiming stability. With the muzzle tuning, I went with 0.52 ounces for recoil stabilization and 0.23 inches for recoil control. This is the main thing that I use to control my recoil with the tuning. I make sure to have everything for like gun kick control and recoil. Over on the barrel, I'm using the IG K30 406 millimeter barrel. It adds a recoil control, bullet velocity, damage range, and hip fire accuracy. The cons are aim down sight speed, movement speed, and hip recoil control. Over on the barrel tuning, I went with 0.32 pounds for recoil steadiness and 0.30 inches for the damage range. Now, this gun is an absolute laser. If you watch my gameplay, you will see I ended up dropping an MGB. So if you guys enjoyed that gameplay, make sure to hit that like button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, we're going to be using the cast off 545. I can't remember what I built this out for. I don't know if it's for no recoil or just. Yeah, OK, it's, it's no recoil. Did I just see a guy up there? Shit. And there's a guy lower on me. What? What? Why was my t Okay, this map's a little weird. My game lagging. I'll try to stun these guys and then go up. Okay, that didn't work. The knife them. scared wait this is a spot this map might be up here I 
somewhere over here. At least one. But that UAV is big. through or what? Sixty round tack. That's insane. I don't know if that car's blown up already, but No, no aim misses. Need that. I noticed it last second, bro. Oh, that was probably the closest I'm gonna get to a nuke on this map, anyways. He's up there. Of course, he's still up there. It's so weird. Just camping in one spot. I see you. Are you dead? No. There's so many snipers on this map. There's a guy here, I think. How many people is there? Come on, I can get this nuke. I gotta go. Close. 
No. Why? That's a nuke right there. I'm gonna call it in. Ooh. 58 kills. No recoil, cast off 545. Almost didn't get it either. About 60 kills now, GG's. Make sure to hit that what like button that? for me, please. That was bullshit. <laughs> no, he's mad.